morning. I'm Dorisha. I'm here to share with everyone a topic. All right. But first, before that, let me just ask anyone in the audience, if ever in your life, you have never ever faced any life difficulties. Anyone. No breakdowns, no feeling down, no being let down, no frustration. Anyone at all? Okay, I'm here to share about a topic that I think it is not a new topic. It is not a new word. It has been around. Maybe in the past, people call it being pragmatic. Remember the word pragmatic? Yeah, but we don't use it anymore, right? We use agile. We use agility. And I think agility is a tool that is among the most powerful for each and every one of us, personally, professionally, in facing difficulties of any kind. It's what I'm sharing today with everyone. Okay, so it is the ability, the ability to adapt, to adopt, but to do this quickly, swiftly, fast, in no time at all. Or oh, this is like impossible, isn't it? But if you are put in a, a situation of impossibility, suddenly you know you can. Remember 18th of March 2000, when COVID was being, you know, WHO said, is COVID, it is the pandemic, everybody stop all your public engagements. Remember that day, that night here when I spoke to all the students, please stop after 12 midnight and they were very upset because they were having programs like this, right? And there were outside people on campus and we have to stop them immediately. And people from outside who were doing businesses with the students, with the public, were angry. So, but can we do it? Yes, we can. By being agile. By being agile. Agile or being agile or agility is a tool, is a capability for you to respond to unexpected scenarios, unexpected challenges in your life or whatever you are. As a student, or as a professional, okay, working in industries or working for the government or doing your studies. Or I'm going to share with you a bit about myself just as a personal example, all right? So it is not about being perfect, no. It is not about using the best of technology into the AI, yet using the technology for everybody advantage but being agile is not about the tools it is about change of mindset it's about change of mindset once you decide yes you can you will all right so it is about being fast yes it is okay the slower you are the lesser or you will not find the decisions the output you know the product you know the objectives that you crave for. So fast is in that being agile, okay? So I just share a little bit about a story. That's me and my late father. And that's me carrying my younger sister, but I always carry everybody around. I have three of them, right? Can you imagine? So whenever I want to go and play and my parents will say, stop, 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 bring your brother or your sister wherever you go, you know? So I was not that lucky in the sense that I was born in a big family. I was in the middle and I have to do many things, but I was thinking a lot of me, a lot of me, ugly lady, a kampong girl who spoke no English. I know no English. Maybe I know yes, all right, thank you, right? And not so smart, the great Shoso, the great comparatively with others. Not so smart, okay? And I think I was not up to anybody's expectations at all. 
I was told many times over, huh? you should be doing this, but you did not. You were late, you know. Why were you there in the field with the boys? Why are you not dressed like this? Not speaking like this, not doing like that, for example. So it was there. And I should be thinking or feeling so dull. All right. So that was uh, my school days there. Remember falling in love? I was once like a thousand years ago or maybe a hundred years ago, young, yeah, like you people. All right. I was young. I know, I know. It's quite impossible to imagine me young, right? Uh, and that one, I think that me. I think that me, I think that's me. That's my teacher, Miss Chow, I think. I think somewhere there was me. Okay? So there I fell in love, but I was laughed at. At the university, I fall in love again. Who never fall in love, I wonder? I fell in love quite a number of times. Don't tell my husband he's outside. Okay? But just to share with you, I had to endure six form. Six form is like I was 18 or 19 using school uniform. Can you imagine yourself 19 wearing school uniform? How degradable or how humiliating that is? Well, I, I wore my school uniform at 19 because I cannot go abroad. I did not manage to. So I did that. Okay. And I want to be a lawyer. I imagine being a lawyer, rich, a bungalow on top of a hill. Maybe also married some, you know. But I was to enroll at Mr. Malaya at Arts Faculty and I was asked to study history. History. And I was like, and everybody was asking, you're going to be a history teacher, right? And I was like very upset because I don't like memorizing things. I don't like memorizing my slides, for example. And, but, okay. Truth be told, here I am, a professor. Truth, truth be told, I was there twice as dean here, pro vice chancellor for KL campus, CEO of a private university. I think everybody knows KBJ Healthcare, which is the biggest uh, healthcare provider in Malaysia. I was there upgrading the university and I retired as deputy vice chancellor for student affairs. That's why I always feel young together with everybody. And I think being Young in the mindset is also part of being agile. Okay, I think you can fit all this by learning to smile things through. You need to smile more, I think. Okay, when you face difficulties in life, you have to persevere. You have to try to be positive at all times, but you must change your mindset to tell that you can do it and you can do it now. The change can be done. Now, not tomorrow, but now, at the moment, now, while you're with me, for example, in this hall, okay? So you have to be strong. You have to be strong. You have to take charge of your life and persevere. I remember how I did that. I remember how I did that by putting them down, by writing them down so that I don't forget. I have dreams. If I don't write them down, I may forget about it because there's so many things that happen in your life. I am one who wrote it down. So I have my dream to lead me on. So I said to myself, I'm sure many have done this professionally, personally. If you read, you will see that people who think about the ultimate goal, they usually change the mindset and they stick to it and they remember what actually the vision or what they want to uh, aspire, or what they want to achieve in life as the thing that guide them on, that make them strong, right? So this is it. I learned a lot. I'm an avid reader. You name it, I've read it, okay? Before it is out, but I'm yet to see some of the posting by some of the speakers after this, all right? I read a lot, but I did not have the books. I did not have the magazines. I started, I remember, by people who threw in the rubbish dumps, and I went and took them whole and read them in English. I know nothing about English then, but the magazines, the comic books in English, the magazines in English, pretty, beautiful photos and all that, I learned the hard way. So when I was at school, I, I don't even know my name, all right? I thought my name is Esa, not Durisha. When I was at, when I was at, uh, the secondary school, the teacher was asking around, Dorisha, who is he? 
or she? Because the name doesn't really reflect, right? The gender. I'm just saying that there are things that happen in your life. You did not expect it, but it happened. So how do you relate to that? So for me, you must uh, be a reader. You must observe and learn new skills the hard way, even though the hard way, I'm sure. Even though the hard way, if you persevere, you will learn, you will change, you'll be able to uh, arrive at the desired uh, vision of your life, okay? So, what does being agile mean professionally? Look at some of the companies, the big companies, they are with agile leaders. Just look, look around, Amazon or, or Tesla, right? Elon Musk, for example, just to name a few, there are many others, okay? I think they are these companies, these associations, these institutions, these organizations, business ventures are led by agile people. People who think they must react very quickly, get the team on, choose the right team and do the change and manage the change and get the change as fast as and fast day. I think that is, you know, the way they do it, all right? I'm sure you have known but all these uh, names, okay? Why is it important? There are many methods, all right? But being agile is one of the most powerful methodology that we can learn head on. We can really absorb this and do it now in whichever, whatever situations. And you can read and you can know from observation, from experience of others that how being agile helps in facing life difficulties, personal difficulties, and also professional difficulties, all right? So, and the, the key point is doing it quickly, swiftly, precisely, effectively, and it brings no harm to anybody. Like for example, if a family is facing death, right? If a loved one dies, if you do not have that agility in you, you may cry endlessly with the whole family. But you can be the calm person who calm everybody to face this positively. Like, for example, you have frustration. You did not get the thing that you want, for example. You may not get it now, you may get it later. If you have that character in your family, your family, my, my what I think, will be a better family because you know how to stay a child. How do I react to this? Because you need to or else look at the people who suffer because they do not have that character in them. For example, they become easily frustrated. They feel victimized. They play victim all the time. They think people are sidelining them, not giving them the right opportunity, whereas the opportunity is yours for the taking, is what I'm suggesting. COVID-19 is agility example at its best. I would promote to everybody. When you can decide now and the thing happened now. When you can stop everything now and seriously, you know, you stop now. And the change was tremendous. It stopped the death numbers. In Malaysia, I think the dying, the people who died out of uh, COVID-19 was about 40 plus thousand. Can you imagine? And here, we have distances with each other. We got food delivered. You stay in bus like if the bus can contain 40 plus people, only 15 or 18 people on board remember those days. And you don't move about. And you can. You can work from home. You think you can't. You, you think the engineers cannot do studying from home, but you did. Even the board, you know, the, the I would say the institution that care for some professional uh, 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 programs, they also provided you some opportunities to really do what you must do, but still arrive. I remember those days, so COVID-19, okay, when we let everybody, you know, all over the country move about with certain very strict rules, is an example how being agile, yes, you can, right? So to conclude, it is just a choice. It is not about being right or wrong. It is not about, you know, um, something that you force, it is you, you telling yourself whether you want to or you do not want to. You want to change, you want to take this opportunity, this approach or not, that is all. But I think I will now suggest to you people, yes, you can. 
the examples are there ahead of us because if we are not, we know that the difficulties that we face will be much more severe or we become the pessimist that we are not. I think we should all stay positive and be the future of Malaysia and the world for the betterment of everybody. Thank you, everyone.